I can't wait to hit rank one with time bomb printer. Who needs infinite? I want none of this. This is okay. Prez feels kind of clunky sometimes, but it's your only way outside of Zillion of actually going up on cards without it in your hand. Without it, your hand just goes to nothing, and you hit a random dead draw that stalls you out until you die. Just because of, like, um... Because, like, time trick and everything else just kind of goes one for one. Um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I just don't know how much you need to go up on cards, though, if you're... So, like, even without Zillion, being able to, like, pr pick all of your draws with Predicts is pretty impactful. I'm not sure. I, I feel like I haven't played enough of the deck. This is kind of great. I was going to hold on to Drop Border to Predict, but... I'm just going to take an extra chip damage, I guess. I'll probably time trick this turn to try and find Zillion. But putting opponent to 11 seems good. Oh no. Do they have a Ken and Ezreal hand? Oh no, they have it. Loof is kind of cute here. I think I will take a loop. Can't pick every draw, and you can only do that in the first place if you have multiple cards on hand. Cards in most turn. You just run out of gas too quickly. Yeah, all right. I'll probably put it back in. I do trust you over myself. <laughs> all right, right of calling's perfect. Getting rid of a second Wayfinders is actually awesome. That's so good. This already feels great. I think I'm gonna sack this now because I don't think they have a way to deal with it. Um, aside from Nopify, but I feel like if they're Nopifying this, I'm okay with that. Maybe not. I don't have another way of getting it, but I can't beat Nopify. So I think I just do it now. Like, they're gonna keep Nobify up the entire game, so. I need to start shuffling time bombs into my deck. God Willow, yep. Um, I don't think I mind if this dies, so I'm just shuffling it in. If they want to use a bunch of resources to kill Zillion, that is fine with me. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I wish I had a way to draw. You need to always deny buried in ice or into. Oh, yeah. That counts as our landmark, even though they created it. Like the frozen tomb? Does it just generate nothing? Because that's really funny. I assume you probably have never picked it, so you wouldn't know. But it, <laughs> it's just empty. That's so funny. I did it for science. God bless. All right, I am taking a swing. I think I'm taking a full swing. I want to do as much damage as I can because I might actually just be able to burn them out. It will be done. 
Like, my hand's actually pretty bad. That's fine. They have a million ways to deal with Mystic, so I don't think I want to shoot that. I'd rather save it to potentially go face. Ooh, Hexite's nice. Um, Prez is pretty good. I can just play Time Bomb into Prez. Maybe overwrite my Zillion. I'll probably just overwrite the Hourglass. I'm not really sure what's happening here. I think I just Hexite. This is extremely strong. And then I want to Aftershock the Seedling next turn. Um, I think that that is fine. That means they don't have Nopify, which means I might just play Mystic Shot this turn. But I assume they're going to replay Wayfinder to kill this. next turn if they want. That seems good though. I think we're in a great position. Okay. Um Yeah, I think I'm just after shocking the Godwell the seedling. Maybe I just shoot face. So my zillion's not going to be flipping, I don't think. There's almost no way of it. So I shoot face, put him to three next turn, and then I get to play another Rite of Passage. This is so good. I even have Quicksand to deny healing. So they can have, like, health pots. That is really not great for them. Yeah, dumpstering as cannon is nice. Ooh, that's a good draw. I don't have to do anything right now. They're gonna attack with cannon, I'm not gonna block. And then they're going to use both the Marks of the Storm on Zillion. I'm going to Aftershock. This feels great. I'm pretty sure they're just dead next turn. I hope my spirit, not my fist. Just destroying a mana gem. Funny when the opponent spends multiple cards stopping a right of calling when I was just using it to free up board space. I know, right? Time bomb seems good. And we don't kill the dragonling. Um, so I can swing 
I actually don't have lethal on the swing anymore. So I think we just set up time bomb. Sign in? Okay. I think I'm overriding this. Eh. Alright, put him at one. Time waits for no one. No one but me. My bomb's great. We shuffle this in first. How is it? Six of eight? Um, I don't want to block these anyways. So I like time bombing here. That's so good. Give me an action. Come on. Nah, they're gonna help pot. That's so smart. Okay. So they have enough for the stun. Um, if I don't quicksand here, oh, I can quicksand plus thermo and then this dies to the time bomb. Yeah, so I just do this, this, and I throw this here. Time bomb printer is great. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is the easiest time bomb into time bomb. I might still be dead at first. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this this turn because I'm definitely not going to play it next turn. Not very helpful. I need to be able. Oh, so sad. I can't kill him at first speed. I can start by ruinous pathing. Forces them to have it right now. Okay. Ooh, that makes me feel pretty confident I'm not dying right now. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Ooh, I get to play an extra one, too. <laughs> oh, 
this does feel so much worse when they're just actual time bombs. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Um, this is dying next turn. I kind of want to hit Hexite Crystal. So I'm going to do this and then Bakai. And I can just full swing, right? Rite of Passage is perfect. This this is lethal, right? I'm good? Pretty sure we're good. You're between me and glory. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Um, I just play feline first. I know I don't want to rope Mo. I feel really bad. <laughs> and then I can turn it down a bit. Okay. Okay, too many zills. Oh, we are okay. I mean, this is fine, I guess. All right, James. I'll look at that garbage after this game. <laughs> uh, this is just a full skip, right? I don't want any of this. I'm going to click it before you respond because I'm that confident. Um, and I think this is fine because I can careful prep the zillions back into my deck. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, all right. Um, we take the time bomb as well. Taking three damage right away, feels good. This makes this really awkward for poor Mo. That is fine with me. Um, I don't think I have to play anything here. Why do I feel worried when I <laughs> hear Red Anivia? <laughs> okay. Uh, I want, so I'm probably playing a second Zillion this turn. So I think I'm down to just Prez right now. Ooh, Rite of Passage is so good. I'm gonna force Mo into needing to kill this. Like setting this up in a way that is like, kill my zillion or it's flipping already. Feels really good. God will a seed point. Okay. Oh, I actually, I think maybe I was supposed to trade that off. This is getting his cannon killed, and this feels amazing. I get to just play another zillion. Oh, I don't want any of you. So that's a skip. Do I commit crystal here to try and kill this? I feel like I'm supposed to.
Yeah, I'm gonna force. Just forcing more answers out of Mo's hand is good. Like, that's fine. I also get to swing for another five damage this turn, which is not nothing. This is kind of good. Do I just perfectionist time bombs right now? I feel like perfectionisting time bombs is correct. I have so many in the deck now. This is so funny. <laughs> this this deck is so much fun, actually. Bombs go burr. James gets it. Is it usually bad? Why? They pass prior, you'd rather copy Rite of Passage. Oh, I see. I the of that makes sense. Yeah. Good call, good call. On the plus side, my zillion's leveled, so. Okay, yeah, good, good to know, good to know. <laughs> okay, so I got a little excited copying the time bomb, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna play this first. Moe's going to attack. I'm gonna block like this. Moe's gonna use all the marks to kill my zillion. I'm gonna play another zillion, then I'm gonna start time bombing. Or Moe passes the turn and that's also great for me. That's smart. It sets up, so it dies. I'm just going to play this now, then. Okay. Imperfectionist is an exact copy, so using it on a discounted card... Ooh, gets it free. That's kind of saucy. I don't even think I need this zillion alive. So if Mo is a way to kill it, I think that's fine. Rite of Passage is great. This feels so good. Okay, Lightning Rush was the only thing that beats this here. So I still get um, at least the one time bomb. And then I can also kill, oh, I don't get the time bomb because he gets to replay it this turn. So I'm out of zillions, but I do get to kill this cannon at focus speed, which feels really good. Um, can we open for lethal? I guess essentially, yeah. This does force him to do something. But I can also just, like, I think I'm supposed to just play both of these. Mo actually only has four cards in hand. This is so sick. Eyes open. Watch your branches. Um, okay. I'm going to Bakai first. 
So I can Bakai hit draw. So I want to hit Rite of Passage or another Time Bomb. Ugh. Um, I think this is kind of a skip. Yeah, I, I, this is actually so much fun. I might, um, I might progress day next turn. Yep, that's better than, uh, time trick. It's just time trick didn't do anything off the draw. I was getting off time bomb, so I'm pretty sure this was better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Most having a good time. GG, my guy. <laughs> oh, that's so good. This is Dex 2-0. Oh. It's probably probably cracked. <gasps> Jason! What the hell is this deck? Um man, keeping Zillion, I think I pitched the rest. Matchup's not great, but it's playable most of the time. This feels like it'd be an okay matchup, no? Um, I have a question. So should I be waiting until after I put time bombs in my deck before I'm using prep? Or do I just throw this down now because I- oh, Poppy Taric, yeah. Or do I just throw this down now because I really want Fallen Felines? in your hand would play it now um i don't want any of this so we just skip i don't know what this is sure i'll take a time bomb get him Not even Master Yi. Embarrassing, honestly. Uh, okay. Hey, over here. They can read a palm now, Madge. <laughs> You're right. Twenty turn clock zillion. I mean, they could have also read uh, Fallen Feline was something I was really, I would really like to hit. Time is wasting. I'm going to skip this song. Oh no, I, I like you're actually right. I have a hundred percent made reads off of people, um, just snap picking stuff. It's a go hard deck. All right, we're getting too late in the game, and now it's all loud. Um, we attack first. Get our chip damage. I love Jason. Jason's great. The lesson begins. Jason's in for a treat right now. <laughs> is so good i get to imperfectionist rite of passage probably 
might actually be good enough. So if I use this on discounted, yeah, it is free. Using this on discounted rite of passage. One cut of many. I mean, yep, skip block. I'm assuming I should hold this in my hand until next turn because I can double imperfectionist. Oh, I should have traded one of the clocklings. I don't have space. Yeah, I mean, I can write up calling one of them. Having a careful prep in hand sounds pretty good, so. Find a discounted one to copy. Yeah, but this is going to be fleeting in my hand next round, right? Um, I can try and predict, though. So I copy more right of passage and then I'm just full swinging. I can swing with Zillion too. I probably shouldn't though. Well, now I definitely won't. take right of passage uh, uh, let me make sure that's actually yeah that is the right deck this feels goddamn amazing <laughs> does um does round start happen before or after countdown is something that's actually important like, if Jason was making a Dragonling there, would it have died to the Time Bomb? Oh, is that just a turn-based thing? So, his round start happens before my round start, so he'll make the summon, then my Time Bomb will go off, as where the inverse is true. Okay, so it is just attack token. Cool, thank you. This is fun. <laughs> I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Zillion's fleeting rights it won't be discounted, by the way. Okay. That is important information. I'm 
holding this so I can double up the Rite of Passage to focus speed, clear the Dragonlings, and then I think I just win. Right? Oh, Pastafarian, thanks so much for the follow. Give me a Rite of Passage on top. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. <laughs> oh my god, this deck is just infinite, but with so many steps. <laughs> and I kind of love it. <laughs> 